Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So as you've all known and seen the build of this video as well as the maiden flight of the video, however, you've only seen one flight. There's more, many more flights that I've been flying actually. And I wanted to make this video about the Dal RC engine. Now it proved to perform very well but not as good as the Tico 32 ESC on bench testing. Now the rear wheel testing for the Dal RC engine was phenomenal. No noise, not even a leakage of a line into my FPV video feed. Not only that, the engine, the, the motors sounded so smooth that it was just very good. Uh, so overall, this Dal RC engine is one of the best 401 ESCs you could possibly purchase as I believe to this date. However, some of the specs, you know, are a bit of a letdown which is a maximum of a 5S LiPo, but you can push it to a 6S, but you know, that's at your own risk. You might burn it, you might not. It does have a pretty nice fat heat sink. However, the thermal adhesive is not on all of the MOSFETs. It's not very uh, evenly distributed, but it'll still provide cooling into the whole uh, ESC, which is very good. Now, this is ESC is pretty expensive, but I can tell you that it's, it's well damn worth every single penny. Uh, that this ESC is going to cost you because uh, for 4 in 1 ESCs, this is so far the runner up on bench testing, but in real world testing for 4 in 1 ESC, this is by far the best until I fly the Tico 32 4 in 1 ESC. However, that one's still unavailable for sale, I believe, just yet, but this one is just a beast. Now, you could totally hear it from the motors. I did not have a single hiccup through my flight through anything, which I truly was impressed. Now, uh, the testing was very beautiful on the bench testing. I told you it was, it was just insanely good. Not as good as the Tico 32, but still a runner up. But that doesn't make it crap since it's number two. This will outdo most of, I believe, most of 4 in 1 ESCs out in the market at the current moment of time. So, this thing is a beast. It really is a beast. It looks sexy. It looks nice. It performs absolutely spectacular. Um, and check this out. I did not add a low ESR capacitor. And I'm using the super sensitive gyro on the Kikute V2. The Hollybro Kikute V2 flight controller with the soft mounted um, gyro. I didn't have any twitches. Um, I didn't have anything. I just built it, plugged it in. And it wouldn't fly. <laughs> Why wouldn't it fly in the beginning? Because I forgot to tighten my props down. You know, that's just, just, just such a noob thing. I was like, what's that noise? You know, I had the goggles on. <laughs> that made me shit myself, to be honest. But then, you know, once I remember, I was like, wait, did I even tighten the props down? I just put, basically put them on. <laughs> so I just tightened the props on, took off. I was just, I just kept flying and flying it and flying it and flying. I brought backup quads. I didn't fly anything but this one. And I won't fly anything but this one when I'm going out to fly by myself because it was it was really good. It was really good and it felt so reliable and it just felt it just it was a beast. You want power. You got power. You want speed. You got speed. Uh, you're not running some, you know, good enough batteries. You will still have a hell of a lot of fun, which I did. And I was using the Turnigy. I had some Turnigy graphings, 1300 milliamp. Those are crap. And uh, it, it still flew beautiful. And, and that is what, you know, just kept me just, I'm just like, wow, this thing just constantly perform, 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 perform. And check this out. It flew so good and I had so much fun with it. I didn't even crash once, which is insane. I have not even changed the props. These are the first props I put on and they're still on the quad. And I, I didn't have to take this guy apart or do anything, modify anything. It was just overall the perfect ultimate setup, like I said, when I was building it. And I did have very high hopes for this, and it did not let me down at all. You know, the Diatone build, the 2018 build, that one was just an insane pork monster. But after a crash, the aluminum on the top, they're using very crappy aluminum, the Diatone, which is very unfortunate because that one was the best. But then, you know, when you think about it, like, okay, well, now I have to put some weird zip tie to hold my VTX in place. It's very annoying, actually. Uh, when this one, you crash it, pick it up, just fly. It. I've, I have three of these. I have three frogs. I've beat the living hell out of them. And... They're still working. I never had to replace an arm. I never had to replace any single piece on this frame because they're just so strong. So very well built and very well designed. And the flight characteristics are just insanely gorgeous. 
and they do provide you with a lot of mounting solutions for everything you could think of. So overall, the Dal RC engine is a winner in my book. I would totally recommend this with, you know, hands down, I don't have any, um, I wouldn't even think twice about it. I would definitely recommend this. I've gone ahead and picked up a couple more on the way. And overall, this thing is it's a very good 4-1 ESC and if you're looking for a very good one this is going to be it however in the long run durability wise I will be flying this more and I will be keep creating update videos just to keep you guys updated and I believe that's going to conclude it for this video I'll leave a link to the bench testing down in the description below I'll leave a link to the maiden flight as well as the build and I will go ahead and leave you with the FPV footage with the DVR recording as well so you can go ahead and check that out for yourself and that's going to conclude it for this video guys please consider joining my patreon joining the mission help me document and test everything possible uh, you could also use the affiliate links down there they greatly support the channel and please don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you next time see you guys take care